when I say he froze, I mean myself. Friends, cause I can't redeem myself. Bye. from One Nation, One Power. Shalom, brothers and sisters. Just coming back to encourage you and just to talk to you for a few minutes. The most high uh, put a passage of scripture on my heart is 2 Ezra chapter 16 and verse 67. 2 Ezra 16 and 67, where it starts off, Behold, God himself is the judge. Fear him. I just want to stop right there. He's put this passage of scripture on my heart to let you know that he is the judge. And this is the reason for the chaos on planet Earth right now. We've got so many people out there in higher places of positions of authority all over this earth that has done and continue to do so much wickedness in the dark that they are afraid now that the judge of all earth is coming. See, this judge that's coming is higher and holds a higher seat in the heavenly realm over the Supreme Court. You see, this judge is, that's coming is going to judge not only the Supreme Court of Babylon and judge Babylon, but it's going to judge every nation on planet Earth. Come on out of here. This judge the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, the judge, the one that put the earth here, the one that made Adam and Eve, oh, come on out of here. He's coming back, brothers and sisters. The judge of all the earth is preparing to return. And he says, fear him. Don't fear what man can do to you. He's saying, Fear him. Oh, do you hear me, brothers and sisters? The Most High is coming back. All praises to the Most High of higher. He's setting the stage. It's right before our eyes. We can see what's actually happening. We can see Bible prophecy just jumping off the pages of the Bible right now. All in preparation to take us home. Yes, yeah, some of us are going to have to go through this fire. Just like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego did. You see, uh, before Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego hit that fire, brothers and sisters, Daniel had a praying lifestyle. He prayed three times a day facing Jerusalem when he was captive in Babylon. So I'm here today to let you know, get your prayer life together, because fire coming. There's no way around it. The next prophecy to hit this place is fire. And believe me, just like that that fourth man was in that fire with Shadrach, Meshach, and the bad Negro, I mean Abednego, just like uh, Yeshia was in that fire with them, come on out of here. The Most High promised to bring us through the fire also, brothers and sisters. You see, I had a partner that did a teaching on Moses in that burning bush. That Moses didn't run from those flames. Moses welcomed those flames. Moses walked towards those flames because flames are coming. Everybody going to be tried by fire one way or another, either here in Babylon or when you go under that rock. You're going to be tried by fire because the Most High has promised to make a man more precious than fine gold, even more precious than the golden wedge of old fear. Are you hearing me? See, it's not enough to just talk about that we love the Most High. We want, he, gonna, he, he gonna try us. He gonna prove how much we love him. That's right. We gonna prove to him if it's in your heart, how much you love him. Are you ready? Are you ready for whatever Satan brings? Are you ready for it? It don't matter how it come, what it come, how it come. He that shall endure to the end, the same shall be saved. Are you hearing me? Meaning you can't give up. Meaning you can't uh, just because 
you are finding yourself in a situation, maybe before a guillotine, you can't all of a sudden now decide you're going to change your mind. He that endures to the end, my friend, the same shall be saved. I mean, we done made it past all of the little traps of the devil as far as him trying to get you to give up and walk away, quit your marriage, walk away from your marriage. You got over all of that, all of that warfare. Now look where we are. Feels like everything is over and done. You made it through all of the traps and the plans of the devil, all of the, the attacks of the devil. You know what I'm saying? Attacks at night, attacks at daytime. You made it through all that. Now here we are, waiting for the final call. And this is what we call missiles. That's right. Most high promise he's gonna burn Babylon to a crisp. And that nothing shall survive what he plan on doing to this place. So I'm speaking to all of you that are gonna be here in Babylon and can't go nowhere. Because they're doing everything in their power right now. I can imagine how many people are on the terrorist watch list. That's a shame. They should just give up, turn the earth back over to the rightful people, and just repent and try to get it right. But they're not going to do that. These people are going to fight to the end. They're going to trump up charges on people. They're going to falsely accuse people, falsely put people in jail, not realize that the judge of the entire universe is coming. There's nothing you can do in the dark. You can frame people. You can set people up. You can lie on people. You, all of this, all of this wickedness and witchcraft, all of this stuff that's being done, you will and I will give an account for it at the day of judgment. This, my friend, is what Satan is terrified of. He does not want to meet the judge at the judgment. As a matter of fact, the fallen angels are afraid of just the mere talk of the coming judgment that's about to hit planet Earth. Everything, do you hear me? Everything is going to give an account. The trees, the sun, the moon, going to have a story to tell on some people. But I'm here today to let you know, stay strong, be encouraged. Found out you a Hebrew Israelite, keep studying. Bible says, be ye content in whatsoever state you find yourself in. Stay content. Keep studying. Keep spreading the word. Holy Spirit moving on the planet now like I've never seen her move before. People waking up and coming to this truth fast. Man, he going out here hitting these streets. People coming to this truth so fast now. It's like, man, it's like they snapping out of that coma. That's right. It's like the most high waking people up out of coma. Bringing them back to the truth, to these laws, statutes, and commandments that he has given to our ancestors. It's a great blessing. It's a great pleasure for me personally to walk in the footsteps of my ancestors. This means more to me than anything I ever did in my life. Being able to serve the Most High or higher in truthfulness and in righteousness. I found what I've been looking for. I'm talking to somebody out there. Have you found what you've been looking for? You know what I'm saying? We tried to find it in drugs, wasn't there. We tried to find it in alcohol, wasn't there. We tried to find it in drugs, wasn't there. Oh, come on out of here. We tried to find it in sports, wasn't there. But now we done found the most high. Precept upon precept, line upon line, here a little and there a little. I'm so full inside. Oh, do you hear me? I am so full spiritually inside. My prayer is that you also are so full spiritually inside of the Most High that you don't need to go out there and do wrong no more. Come on out of here. That you don't need to go out there and prove something to somebody by cussing somebody out. Oh, come on out of here. This is the best thing ever that, that I've ever seen and felt in my life. Come on out of here. I thought when I was a Christian pastor for 10 years that I had it. Nope. Didn't have it. Come on out of here. Didn't have this kind of joy. <laughs> this is joy. 
and the world didn't give it to me. Come on out of here, the most I did. That's right, we ain't got to wait for something to happen to have a smile on our face. We got joy down on the inside. Oh, thank the most high, a higher, by Hashem Yeshaya, for his mercy and for his grace and for his great power of awakening his people in such a time like this, my friend. We live in some exciting times, yes. A lot of our people are still asleep, but I'm telling you, a lot of us are awake and a lot are still waking up each and every day. The Most High gonna get his remnant. Oh, uh, do you hear me? He gonna get his remnant, he already know who they are. He already know where they are. Come on out of here. He already know who gonna wake up, when they gonna wake up, what second they gonna wake up. All we gotta do is plant. Once the Bible says one planet, another one water it, but it's the Most High that gives the increase. All oh, praise to the Most High. Once again, this is Eldar Yield for One Nation, One Power, letting you know that the judge of all of the universe is soon to come. <laughs> Woo! One day, one day, one day, everything gonna change. One day, that's right. No more going to work. One day. That's right, no more punching the time clock. One day. No more uh, paying uh, mortgage payments. One day. No more uh, paying an electric bill. Come on out of here. One day. No more paying a gas bill. Come on out of here. One day. Did you ever think that we are the generation that will not have to pay for a burial plot? <laughs> here we are the generation that will not have to pay for a burial block we shall all be changed in a moment in the twinkling of an eye the sound of the last trump the dead in Christ shall rise first and we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with him in the air come on out of here he coming back with ten thousands times ten thousands of his saints to execute judgment upon all the ungodly and upon all them that have spoken harshly against his name. See, we serve a God that can fight for himself. We don't have to fight for him. We serve a God where we don't have to go and uh, try to hurt nobody else because they done made fun of our God. No, you can talk about our God all you want. When he come, he gonna fight for himself. He, he gonna fa face to face, man to man, mano y mano. I, I love the God that I serve. He can defend himself. He can speak up for himself. Oh, come on out of here. He can fight for himself. Come on out of here. He gonna lay down them laws by itself. That's right. I serve the God. I serve the real one. I don't serve the fake one. I don't serve a God. Then I gotta take a rag and wipe him off every day. <laughs> I don't serve a God. That's right. Then I gotta take him and uh, pick him up and put him on a mantle. <laughs> We do not serve a God, hello, that we got to shine up with furniture polish. <laughs> I'm here today to let you know we serve the one true and living God. Ahaya, Bahashem Yeshaya, His Son Yeshaya, do you hear me? Robert Walk and the Holy Spirit, do you hear me? We, we, we ain't got to fight, we see uh, 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 NSA. We don't have to fight for our God. He can do it for himself. We just preach the word in season and out of season, speaking what thus says the Most High. Oh, come on out of here. The Most High has been so good, so good. Yes, yeah, so good to each and every one of us that I'm here today to encourage you that the judge of all the earth is coming. You know, I, when I was younger, we used to watch them uh, cowboy movies, you know, with cowboy movies when the town uh, would go to hell, the town would just go to hell, All the, they kill the sheriff, the bad guys take over the town, they run the town, they doing everything they want to do in the town, and then all of a sudden somebody come into town on a horse one night while they're in the saloon getting drunk and they say they heard that uh, Sheriff Pritchett. <laughs> 
that Sheriff Pritchard, the fastest gun in the West, was coming to town to clean it up. You got them guys in them saloons, you know, you got half of them backed out, jumped on them horses and took off immediately. <laughs> Then you got those other tough guys that say, you know, they're going to ambush Sheriff Pritchard when he gets to town. You know, some going to get on the roof, some going to get under the stairs, some going to get out around back. You know, they're going to ambush on Sheriff Pritchard when he come into town. You know what I'm saying? You got a few clowns out there thinking that they're going to fight the most high power <laughs> when he come into town. But just like in them all Western movies, the sheriff came into town, he put in work, took the town back, he restored order, he restored justice, that's what the Most High about to do when he come to town. <laughs> he going to restore order, and he going to restore justice, <laughs> and he going to put uh, uh, rabies to death. <laughs> we got a lot of people out there in leadership right now, the, the Bible, you know what I'm saying, is telling us in the last days, I'm going to depart from the faith giving heed to seducing spirits and doctors and devil. If you're dealing with them doctors and devils right now, you're dealing with rabies. <laughs> you'll be like a mad dog need to be put down. I'm here to then let you know this is El Dario from One Nation, One Power, keeping it real. We got missiles coming, brothers and sisters. What you going to do? You going to get ready? Or are you already ready? <laughs> are you already ready? You ready for the flames? You ready for the fire? You're not going to scream and holler. Shout like Shad Jack, Meshack, and the Bendigo. They didn't scream and holler when the guards grabbed them and threw them in the fire. Shad Jack, Meshack, and the Bendigo wasn't down, uh, what you call that, uh, converting <laughs> to another religion. Shad Jack, Meshack, and the Bendigo went into that fire like soldiers. And you know what they said before they went in there? They said, even if our God does not deliver us, we still ain't bowing down. Come on out of here. Did you hear what Daniel told him? He said, even if he desires not to deliver us from the flames, we still rolling with the most high. Come on out of here. Anybody out there say that? No matter what. Flames, fire, guillotine, fire squad, no matter what comes. If our God decides that he's not going to deliver us, we still rolling with the most high. Come on out of here. We're going to make them Muslims look like they ain't nothing. Come on out of here. Talking about uh, having a conviction for your God. There's nobody on this planet got a conviction for their God like the Israelites. That's right. Because we keep the laws, statutes, and the commandments of our God. We are obedient unto our God. Come on out of here. So we are zealous for the Lord, the Most High God. Come on out of here. And we ain't going nowhere. We roll it till the wheels fall off. So for all of you out there that think you're going to intimidate us and scare us off and do this and do that, we got the Most High on our side. We are prepared and preparing for the kingdom to come. Come on out of here. No, my friend, we are not waiting for Christmas. <laughs> no, my friend, we are not waiting for New Year's Day. We're waiting for the kingdom to come. The kingdom that was promised to us in Revelation 21 and 22. We are living for that kingdom to rule and reign in the kingdom to come. Do you hear me? You talking about a people sold out, living right? A law for people. Come on out of here. The whole earth can't take that. A lawful people waiting on the judge to show up. Waiting on the judge to show up to put everything back in order. Because the whole earth is out of order, my friend. That's right. You see all them nations over there in the Valley of Jehoshaphat? Like that last video the Holy Spirit had me do? They all over there in the Valley of Jehoshaphat right now? They got Italy over there now? 
got Italy over there. I think you got, what, France? You got everybody over there. Japan trying to get theirs over there. The most I promise, he's going to draw them all down in the Valley of Jehoshaphat. And then he said, there he's going to plead with them for what they did to his people. Think about that. So what's actually coming to Babylon? Fire. We got to consider the 14th century Arab slave trade in that. We got to consider the 1619 slave trade in that. We got to consider the slave trade over there in China, the Ming Dynasty. We got to we got to incorporate everything that happened to us as a people in the Jacob's Trouble. Because Jacob's Trouble is not going to just start here in Babylon. Jacob's Trouble started way back in Babylon. That's right. Started way back. Jacob's Trouble started back in 70 AD also. So when the Most High say only a remedy is going to be saved, when we think about it, and we think about how numerous we were, we was at the sand of the sea, and the Most High prophesied that he would make us small. And he did. So we living in Jacob's trouble. What more trouble can come other than flames from the sky? Police been shooting us down for years. It's just being televised now. You hearing me? It's just being put on television now so they can hype it up to get our people that are not awake to go out there like zombies. You know what I'm saying? And pick it for a country that they thought was going to bring them some justice. When the Most High said in 2nd Ezra 16 and 67, he said he's the judge. So don't expect no courts down here on this planet Earth in Babylon to give a right decree as it pertains to judgment. The Most High is going to do that. He said he's the judge. He's going to judge the judge. He's going to judge the prosecutor. He's going to judge the district attorney. He's going to judge the basketball coach. He's going to judge the basketball player. He's going to judge the football player. He's going to judge the football coach. He's going to judge the hockey player. He's going to judge the hockey coach. Are you hearing me? He gonna judge, judge the horse trainer. Come on out of here. He's going to judge every man, woman, and child on this planet. He gonna judge China. He gonna judge Russia. He gonna judge Babylon. He gonna judge Australia. This judge is the judge of all of the earth. Everybody will give an account. So don't think for one minute that what's going on in Baltimore or St. Louis, those officers that you think got off, didn't get off. The judge coming. That's right. The judge coming. That's right. So in all your movies, you can sit back and say, oh, a storm is approaching. No, it's not a storm. It's ultimate destruction. It's coming from the Most High. He's going to pull out his wrath. If the mountains are going to flee, who are we? The mountains are going to flee when this God makes his appearance from the heavenly realm. Oh, come on out of here. The, 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 the word of the living God teaches us that the mountains and the hills gonna flee. So what chance do these nations have to stand up against a God like this? Man, I can't wait to see that day. Oh, I want to see that day. I'm praying for everybody out there. Keep this ministry in prayer. We're moving right along. More people are coming to the truth. More people are waking up. So all I can say is stay in your word. If it's in the word, it deserves to be heard. If it's not in the word, it does not deserve to be heard. This is El Dayel from One Nation, One Power, letting you know in 2nd Andrew 16 and 67 that the judge of all of the earth is coming. 
So get your life right. If you're already right, stay right. Keep facing the east. Praying three times a day. Come on out of here. Most High spoke a word to this ministry about a week ago. He said, I want all of you to face the east and pray three times a day. So we at Holy Spirit Ministries, One Nation, One Power, we've been praying three times a day facing our homeland. That's right. We got a part to play in this too. Don't think that your prayer is not giving power to the earth. Come on out of here. Ever since we really started calling on that name, Ohio, you see what's going on over there in our land? That land spewing them people out. That's right. They're over there having battles. Spew them out, Jerusalem. Spew them out, motherland, as we keep pouring our hands and lifting our hands and praying towards our land. That land going to spew them people out. They're going to be a sacrifice by fire, just like Babylon is. This is El Dayer, keeping it real. Don't be afraid of what man can do to you, but fear him. 2nd Ezra 1667, the judge that shall judge all of the earth. May the Most High keep you. May the Most High bless you. May the Most High prosper you. Prosper your spirit. Prosper your soul and your mind in such a time like this. Just stay focused. Stay focused. Shalom. When I say he proves I mean myself, Friend, cause I can't redeem myself. Five. This is. This is. This is.